This is how ball position can affect your shot shape. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit one shot just to get my kind of natural numbers here, my natural shot shape, so we have a little bit of a baseline here. So we'll see what our club path and what the face angle are. So 1.4 degrees into out and then uh, 1.4 degrees open on that club face. So those are gonna be kind of our baseline numbers. So with an eight iron here, ball position is a little bit front of center. We're gonna have that ball somewhere in this position right in through here. So I'm going to move the ball back. I'll hit a shot, we'll move the ball up, we'll hit a shot, kind of see how those numbers change. But the first thing to understand is we don't swing the golf club on a straight line. We don't swing the club straight back and straight through. It's on a little bit more of an arc. So as we start to shift this ball position around, we're going to make contact with the ball at different points in that arc. So we'll start with the ball being a little bit further back. So if I get set up here, I move this ball pretty far to the back, and then we imagine we are again on this arc here. If I move this ball back, I'm going to be making contact sooner in the arc than if the ball was in its original position, somewhere up and through here. So because I'm making contact a little bit sooner, that face doesn't have quite as much time to square up, so that face is going to be a little bit more open. The next part of this is going to be the path. If I have this ball a little bit further back, I'm going to be making contact again a little sooner in this arc, and this is where this club is still going to be moving out to this right side a little bit more. It hasn't started to quite turn this corner yet. So when I have this ball back, this is going to replicate a little bit more of an in-out path before that club can kind of hit its low point or bottom out at the arc there and then start working back the other direction. So if I go ahead and get this ball far back in the stance and I go ahead and hit one, we'll see how these numbers are gonna change from 1.4 and 1.4. So now you can see the face angle opened up just a little bit, made contact a little bit sooner in that arc. So face was a little more open, going from 1.4 degrees to 2.4 degrees. That club path really shifted further into out. We went from 1.4 degrees into out to 5.7 degrees into out. So if you are someone that is trying to hit a draw, typically we're gonna wanna get that ball a little bit further back in the stance. But let's talk about if that ball is a little bit further up in the stance. So now again, baseline uh, ball position for an eight iron for me is going to be somewhere in through here. If we get this ball moved up a little bit more, we'll call it kind of front heel. This is going to be a little bit later in that arc. So as I start to get past that center point of the arc, this club is going to start working its way around and that face is gonna be a little bit more shut. So if we look at this on the down the line view, because we are passing that center point of the arc where that face should theoretically be pretty square, if back is going to be a little bit open, we continue hit that blow point or bottom out point of the arc there where that face should be square. Now this club is going to start working a little bit more to the left here. So excuse me, that path was going to be a little more into out, not so much the face. So now if that ball is back, path is going to be a little bit more into out. If we have that ball right at the center of the arc there, that path should be pretty neutral. But now with this ball being further up, this club is going to be working a little bit more to the left as we start making contact with it. So now going back to our, my baseline shot of 1.4 degrees open and 1.4 degrees into out, we should see those numbers change a little bit as I get this ball further up in the stance. So we'll now see that that club path has started to shift over to the negative or to the left side. So just by moving that ball up in the stance, my club path has gone from 1.4 degrees and out at my baseline to 3.8 degrees out to in. That is where I'm going to be hitting that ball a little later in the arc so that club is effectively moving a little more across the ball or working in a little bit more. When we look at that face angle, as expected, that ball is further up in the arc, so it has a little bit more time to close on the way through here. So that is going to be a, pat a pattern or a matchup with that ball further up that causes the face to close, which gets it to start a little further left. But it also has a little bit more of an out to end path, which is going to put um, a little bit more of a fade by a spin on this golf ball. So if you're trying to hit a fade, that is the matchup that we need. We want that ball to be a little bit further forward. So before you start trying to change your swing to hit draws or hit fades, that is how ball position is gonna play a role.